Hi guys, welcome back to the ride. So in today's video, uh, we're going to discuss naman this chapter 14, of course under pa rin ang machine design which is about chains or chain drive. And as usual, before we proceed to answering those password exam problems, review muna tayo ng mga formulas. Siyempre, ano, uh, ano muna nga ba uli ang chain? So chains or chain drive is a way of transmitting mechanical power from one place to another. Most often, the power is conveyed by a roller chain known as the drive chain or the transmission chain. Uh, chain. From the word itself, the power, so chains, kagaya ng uh, belts, kagaya ng wire ropes, pati na rin yung ibang uh, elements, is member of the flexible power transmitting elements. So, syempre, purpose niya is to transfer power from one place to another as per the definition and syempre as per the application. And its common application nga ay nakalagay is conveyed by a roller chain from the word itself uli, yung conveyed. So conveyor, makikita natin yung mga kadena and so on the layer. Siyempre pati na rin sa mga bicycle, tricycles, and so on and so forth. So we have this simple figure of uh, chain here. So portion lang siya at hindi ko na i-discuss yung ibang uh, nomenclatures or parts just uh, see the internet. Of course, this is just a review. And ang pinakamahalaga lang talaga sa parts niya is syempre itong pitch represented by small p or it is the distance between two adjacent rollers. So it is your roller, it is your roller. Of course, we have these designations. RC, X, Y. Obviously, RC represented by roller chain, kaya RC. And syempre, itong X tsaka Y number yan. So ano nga ba si X? So si X ay one or two digit number that shows the number of one over eight inch in the chain pitch. So halimbawa, meron kang RC60. So ibig sabihin, si 6 daw, multiply mo ng one eight. Multiply mo ng one over eight inches. Ibig sabihin, si pitch mo raw ay three over 4 inch. So, mahalagang malaman this designation kasi nire-represent niya ang pitch. Mi, uh, minsan kasi sa uh, board exam or mas siguro lagi given is RC40, RC50, RC16, di given yung pinaka-value ng pitch. So, you need to uh, determine the value of the pitch first before proceeding to further solutions or yung mga tanong na ang daming given. At syempre, involved yung pitch, pero hindi nga given yung pinaka-amount. So you need to uh, get this RC designations first or the RCXY. So yan yung X and of course this Y as the applications. So Y is equal to 0 for chains of useful proportions. So yung mga lagi nang binibigay, yung mga 4, RC40, RC60, RC200, etc. So Y is equal to 1 daw for lightweight chain o yung magagaan. So that was RC41. And y is equal to 5 daw uh, if the chain is the rollerless bushing chains. That was RC25 and RC35. Pero pinakagamitin talaga is itong y is equal to 0 or uh, chains of usual proportions. Of course, uh, pakita lang natin ang picture ng isang sprocket. So this is the pitch diameter represented by capital D. And of course, this is uh, the bore diameter represented by uh, small d. And of course, ito yung mga chains mo. Uh, bilog na lang yung aking din para hindi mahirap. Uh, so, ito yung pitch niya na kalahate. Kasi itong, uh, ito tsaka ito, ito yung pinaka uh, distance between two adjacent rollers. So, ito yung pinaka pitch niya. Ayan. Tapos ito, it is just the half of the pitch. So that was pitch over 2. And of course, it corresponds to have an angle theta. So kapag dinerive natin yan or ginamit natin ang trigonometric uh, approach, we're going to have a formula of D or the pitch diameter of sprocket is equal to pitch over sine 180 over NT. So this NT corresponds from the number of teeth. Again, this small p is the chain of pitch. D is your sprocket bore, and capital D is your pitch diameter. Of course, this is inch. This is inch. Ito wala namang uh, unit, so kung ano hanap between uh, chain pitch or diameter, so that should be in inch. And of course, kapag given naman in inches to parehas, 
at hinahanap yung number out it. So, no need to convert kung saan man. And of course, kapag isa dyan ay mm, convert mo muna sa inches parehas. Or convert mo muna si D sa inches. So, kung parehas mm, so no need to convert. Basta dapat parehas ang unit. So, we have this also the estimation formulas for the chain pitch. So, may sarili pa lang din formula si chain pitch na ginagamit talaga sa design which is pitch uh, should not be, ah, uh, pitch is less than or equal to 900 divided by N1 raised to two-third. So, si N1 ay tumutukoy sa RPM, the small or faster bracket. Okay, so from, ayan, uh, sinabi na nga RPM. Kailangan RPM ito. So, mga kuha ka ng pitch in inches. Dapat ang result niyan is less than or equal to pitch. Or uh, greater than or equal to pitch. Si pitch ang less than or equal dito sa sagot. So, malaman natin mamaya kung paano siya gamitin sa mga problems. And of course, kung si belt ay may total length, meron din siyang chain length. So, L is equal to number of teeth, yung dalawang sprocket, just the average of that, plus 2CP, plus the difference of the two number of teeth, square mo yun, divided by 40CP. So, in order to memorize this, kailangan tanda mo yung length of belt, which is pi over 2, the sum of two diameters, plus twice the center distance, plus the difference of the two diameters in squared mo yun, over 4C. So kagaya naman dito, ang mangyari lang, nagiging 40 itong ilalim, and of course, this D1, D2, just replace it by NT1 and NT2 as your number of teeth. And of course, this C as the center distance, just, re just replace it by CP, which is happened to be, ang sabi, center distance between bracket in pitches. So, pag sinabing center distance is 80, hindi agad yon. Kailangan naka-pitches siya. Kailangan CP siya. And of course, this NT1 and NT2 is the number of teeth and the small, large bracket respectively. And this length is uh, length of chain in pitches, links, or teeth, preferably even number to avoid the use of an offset link. Okay, kapag ang nakuha mong sagot, guys, ay, ay 203, so iusod mo into 204 in order to avoid the use of an offset link or to remove an extra link. No, from 203, di magtatanggal ka ng isa, 202. Siyempre, usod mo na lang into 204 to avoid, the, to avoid the remove or the use of an offset link. So tingnan natin sa problem mamaya kung kailangan gawin yun. Of course, may formula si CP or the center distance between sprockets in pitches and that was the C as the center distance in inches or mm times 1 over pitch. So pag nakuha na, uh, kunyari, ito ay 60, ang center distance 60 inches at nangyari ang pitch mo daw ay 3 ports kasi RC60 ang gamit. Hindi dahil... Uh, Guys, hindi dahil RC60 to ay 16 center distance. It is just an amount. So sabi nga, baguhin ko ng 80 para di kayo malito. So it happens that your center distance is 80 and your pitch is 3 port because you are using uh, RC60. So ang magiging CP natin is 80 times uh, 1 over 75 inches, 0.75 inches, kasi 3 ports is 0.75. So that will become 106.67 inches. So kung, CP mo na, uh, kung center distance mo naman is 60 inches, and still you are using 1 over 60, uh, RC60 rather, so that will be 60 over 0.75, and that was 80 pitches. So yun yung, link, uh, yun yung unit niya guys, pitches. Kaya nga siya naka-CP eh, P. Kasi ang C mo is in inches or mm at ang CP mo naman is in pitches, links, or teeth. Kagaya ng unit nitong chain length. Okay. So we have this average good center distance for chain drive. Ang sabi, uh, pinaka-good daw na distansya, center distance of the two sprocket is D2 plus D1 over 2. So ano ba yung D2? Of course, that was the bigger sprocket plus the half of the smaller sprocket. Of course, we have also this rule, yung iba dyan galing sa machinery handbooks, that the minimum center distance should be less than or equal to 
of the uh, larger sprocket. So the preferred center distance naman daw is 30 pitches to 50 pitches. And ang pinaka-approved daw na maximum distance is this 80 pitches. Of course, hindi lamang uh, mga power at kung ano pa mga uh, parameters ang bida sa mga flexible power transmitting of uh, transmitting elements, of course, you need to consider the speed also or the velocity. Of course, we are the chain speed. So we have this linear chain speed that is represented by Vm. Actually, ang formula niya is the product of the pitch, the number of teeth, and the speed of the sprocket. Pero we have this derived equation na equal to Vm is equal to pitch of the sprocket, number of teeth of the sprocket, and your RPM divided 12. And you're going to have a unit of feet per minute. Basta ang pitch mo is in inches, ang N na maliit mo is in RPM. Of course, it is number of teeth, walang unit. Divide mo lang ng 12, garantisado magkakaroon ka ng unit na feet per minute. And if you are going to find the missing parameter here, alimbawa, nawawala si N2 at given to at given to, pwede man man siyang equate because the chain speed of the first bracket, of course, is equal to the second bracket. Pwede mo naman silang equate, pero pag inahanap yung chain speed ng isang uh, bracket, of course, you're going to use this. Okay, so in feet per minute yan. Okay, so lastly, so huri binang formulas, medyo mahaba ito. So, tapos na tayo sa roller chains, guys. So, this is for the silent chain. So, we're going to use the rated HP per inch of chain width. So, we have this rated HP per inch of width. It's equal to PBM over 53. So, wala, ta, wala akong minimonics dito for palatandaan paano siya mas madaling ma-memorize. Basta, it is the product of pitch. And the VM, so ang VM natin, we all know, kaka-post uh, lang ng slide kanina, which is the product of pitch multiplied by the number of teeth multiplied the RPM all over 12. Magkakaroon ka na ng VM in feet per minute. Basta ang pitch mo is in inches and of course your speed is in RPM. So it is the product of the pitch in inches. The linear chain speed in feet per minute over 53 multiplied by 1 minus linear chain speed over 425 multiplied by the number of teeth minus 8. So that was the rated power per inch of chain speed. Di katulad ng mga gears, ng mga belts, at uh, mga shafting, in order for us to get the power, kailangan be the seat torque, be the sa diameter. Iba? Kaso ito sa chains, Iba ang approach. We need to get the linear chain speed and the pitch in order for us to get the rated HP per inch of the chain width. So kapag inhanap naman daw yung lapad ng kadena, so we just uh, need to divide the design HP given yung sa problem and divide by the HP per inch of width. So syempre maka-cancel itong si HP. Yung width na sa ilalim pupuntang A, so it should be in inches. Okay, so that's all for the review of formulas. We're going to solve some problems. So, ang sabi, the number of links of RC60 required to connect a 21 tooth and a 63 tooth sprocket 60 inches apart is? So, those are the choices. Uh, mainam dito, pare-parehas ng unit. So, kailangan natin makuha yung sagot in pitches and kagaya kanina sa formula. Ang sabi, the length of the chain should be in pinch, in pitches, pinches. So pitches, number of links, and number of teeth. So formula, so formula wise muna tayo, ang formula ng length of chain is the number of teeth. So we average mo yan, plus twice mo yung CP plus NT2 minus NT1 squared all over 40 CP. And in order for us to get the CP, we should know the center distance and multiplied by the 1 over pitch. So, isa-isain muna natin yan. So, ang sabi, connect a 21 and 63 tooth, meaning ang NT1 natin is 
21. And of course, our second number of teeth is 63. Dalawa lang naman lagi yan. At syempre, we're going to get the CP. So, ang center, to, uh, center distance, ang sabi, 60 inches apart. Multiplied by 1 over pitch. And it happens that the given RCXY is RC60. And syempre, para mahanap natin ng pitch, kailangan multiply natin si X, which is happened to be 6. Multiply by 1 over 8. So that will become 3 fourth inch. So ang pitch niya is 3 fourth inch, meaning it will become 1 over 3 fourths. So ang CP daw natin is 60 over 0.75. So that was 80 pitches. So pwede na natin i-direct sub dito kasi may na value na lahat, number of teeth, CP, ayun, so meron na. So that was 21 plus 63 divided 2 plus twice mo daw yung 80 plus 63 minus 21 squared divided by 40 times 80. So the answer is... 21 plus 63 divided 2 plus 160 kasi 80 times 2 plus 63 minus 21 squared divided by 40 times 80. So the answer is 202. 0.55 pitches or links. And kagaya kanina ng rule, in order for us to avoid an offset link, we need to convert the answer into even uh, number. Since may butal ito, 202 sana, so pwede nating uh, i-forward siya into 204 pitches. Kasi kailangan natin even number in order for us to provide, uh, to prevent offset link or mga sobra. So the correct answer is 204. So medyo malayo na siya sa 200 guys. Kasi kailangan mo magtanggal ng dalawa which is sayang. Or dalawat kalahate. So why not magdagdag ng isat kalahate para maaboid ng offset link? So the correct answer is 204 pitches. Okay, so that was for the number one. Ay, lang, lang. So, okay, so number two, determine the chain speed in meters per second of an RCAT chain on a 21 tooth sprocket turning at 600 RPM. So the question is looking for the chain speed and we all know that the formula for the chain speed is the product of pitch number of teeth multiplied by the RPM and it happens na meron na tayong Dirac equation which is Vm is equal to pitch in inches number of teeth so the RPM of course in uh, revolutions per minute All over 12. Magkakaroon na daw tayo ng feet per minute. And of course, the question is looking for meters per second. We just need to convert this FPM into meters per second. So, isa-isay natin. Ano nga ba uli yung pitch? So, we're going to use the RCAT. So, the X is equal to 8. Meaning, ang pitch is 8 multiplied by 1 over 8 inch. Meaning, ang pitch is 1 inch. So, sabi 1 inch. Multiplied by the number of teeth, oh, given agad, matik, so that was 21. So the RPM, sabi, sprocket turning at 600 RPM, so perfect. Everything is uh, all right now. So ibig sabihin, ang answer is in feet per minute, so that was 1 times 21 times 600 by 12, so that was 1,000. 50 FPM. And guys, look at the choices. Wala siyang binigay na unit. At nakita mo agad yung number na 1,050. So, bibilugan mo na ba agad or si shade? So, not yet. Why? Again, because the chain speed is in meters per second ang inahanap. So, wag magpapa uh, wag magpapa lito. And alam mo nga isolve yung problem pero hindi ka careful. So, palabas mo yung sagot pero hindi pa pala yan yung pinaka-final answer. So, the, fin uh, the final answer should be in meters per second. So, uh, we should convert this to so 1,050 feet per minute in every, win uh, in every minute. There's 60 seconds and in every feet. So, 
in every meters, there is 3.28 feet. So cancel ang feet here. Square minute cancel. The final answer is in meters per second. So that was 1,050 by 60 divided by 3.28. So that was 5.33. 5.33 yung sa akin. Meters per second. The answer. Answer number one. Answer number two. So the answer is ayan, B, 5.33. Okay. So number three naman daw. A 10 horsepower engine with a speed of 1,200 RPM used to drive a blower with a velocity ratio of 3 is to 1. The pitch diameter of the driving sprocket is 85 mm and the center distance between the sprockets is 260 mm. Using or use an, an RC40 drive and a service factor of 1.2, find the number of teeth of the driving sprocket. So, ang inhanap is the number of teeth of the driving sprocket. Ang involved lang naman na formula na may number of teeth is yung linear chain speed, yung length of the chain, at pati na rin yung uh, pitch diameter of the sprocket. So the pitch diameter of sprocket has the formula of capital D is equal to pitch all over sine 180 over number of teeth. And kailangan lang mahanap natin itong capital D at itong small p which is the sprocket diameter and the chain pitch respectively. And meron na tayong number of teeth. So the driving sprocket. So ito yung driving sprocket. At ang sabi, the pitch diameter is 85 mm. So, big sabihin, ang ating capital D is 85 mm. So, wag magpalito, guys. This is not pitch, but this is pitch diameter. Okay? So, ma obviousan ka agad sa bayo, napakalaki. So, that's, uh, be careful, guys. So, the driving sprocket is has an 85 mm pitch diameter. So, ano pa bang pwede nating hanapin? So, hindi na mahalaga si center distance kasi wala namang center distance dito sa formula. And may sinabi na RC40, which is dito, pwede natin makuha yung pitch at tinahanap natin to para makuha yung number of teeth. So, meron tayong capital D. We're looking for the small p, which is the pitch. And using RC40, meaning ang x natin is equal to 4, multiply natin ng 1 over 8 inch. So, ang makukuha na natin is pitch is equal to 4 over 8 or 1 half inch. So, meaning may pitch na tayo, may diameter na tayo. And be careful again, guys. Kailangan inches ito or mm at kailangan parehas na inches ito or mm. So, in this case, the given is magkaiba. mm here. And this is inches. So, kailangan dyan isa magparaya na ma-convert. So, in every mm, we all know that there is one inch. Uh, there, uh, in every inch, rather, there is a... So, parang paling lahat ng lines. In every inch, there is a 25.4 mm. So, that will be equal to 85 divided by 25.4. So, that was 3.346 inches. So, pares na sila ng unit. Therefore, pwede na nang i-direct sub. So, that will become 3.346 inches is equal to 1 half inch divided by sine 180 over number of teeth. So, meaning ang number of teeth natin is So, 20.95. And of course, wala namang decimal sa number of it. So, mas mabuti na i-round off mo na lang siya sa nearest. So, ibig sabihin, it will become 21 teeth. So, the number of teeth is 21. So, the answer obviously is letter V. Okay. So, number four. What RC chain number are you going to use if you want to maximize the sprocket, sprocket usage at 
1500 RPM or 1500 RPM. So, paano kaya nga tayo mamimili dito? Hindi pwedeng manghuwa lang basta one point din to guys sa board. Okay, so as you remember guys, we have the estimation formula of the pitch which is happen to be the pitch should be less than or equal to the ratio of 900 and the RPM of the smaller sprocket raised to two-thirds. Okay? So, kailangan makuha muna natin yung RPM na to. So, bago tayo makapag-decide anong pitch ang gagamitin. At kapag nakuha na natin yung pitch, kukunin lang natin yung isa-isang pitch neto. At kailangan yung pitch neto na magagamit natin ay mas mababa sa makukuha nating sagot dito. Tapos, kung ano yung pinakamalapit na pinakamababa, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, isa-isahin natin. So, gamitin mo natin formula na ito. So, pitch is 900 over N1. So, isa lang naman giving RPM. So, that was the 1,500 raised to 2 thirds. So, our pitch should be less than or equal to 900 divided by 1,5 raised to 2 thirds. So, that was 0.71. Kailangan makukuha nating pitch should be less than or equal to 0.71. So isa-isa yun natin. So si RC60, ang pitch niya daw is 6 multiply mo ng 1 over 8. So that was 3 fourths and that was 0.75 inches. So pasok ba siya sa 0.71? Ay mas malit ba siya or equal sa 0.71? So no. Meaning we cannot use the RC60. Kasi nalabag niya na agad yung restrictions dito. So, X na to. So, CB naman. RC70. So, that was P is equal to 7 times 1 over 8. Of course, that is 7 over 8 inches. So, that was 7 divided 8. 0.875 is RC70 or 0.875 of pitch is Less than or equal to 0.71? Of course not. Kasi nga mas malaki agad siya sa 0.75. Eh, hindi nga ito mas maliit sa sagot na 0.71. So, X is agad si RC70. And of course, X is na agad si RC80. Kasi mas mataas siya sa 7 and 6. Meaning, mas mataas siya agad dito. So, huwag mo na paharapan ng sarili nyo. So, sure na ba nating RC50 ang sagot? Tignan natin. Dapat sure kasi X is yung tatlo eh. Tingnan natin. So, RC50 meaning pitch is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 over 8 inch. So, meaning 5 over 8. So, that was 0.625 inches. Is 0.625 less than or equal to 0.71 inches? Siyempre, mas maliit siya sa 0.71. So, we're going to use the RC50. At least, na uh, sunod may restriction at na-maximize mo pa yung gamit ng sprocket kasi kailangan mo gamit na RC50 and the answer is letter C. So, ayan naman. Pang number 5, a silent chain SC4 is used for a design horsepower of 12. What chain width is needed if the 21 tooth driving sprocket runs at 1,200 or 1,200 RPM. So, ito yung diniscuss nating formula na panghuli, which is for the silent chain. And we all know that the horsepower per inches of width is equal to the product, the pitch in BM, which is the linear chain speed in feet per minute. So, that was over 53 Multiply by 1 minus, uh, ano nga ba ito? 425 if I remember. Ah, this, I alam yun. So that was 1 minus VM. All right, right. 1 minus linear chain speed all over 425 times the number of teeth minus 8. So kailangan ng pitch mo dito is in inch. Ang VM mo dito is in FPM. So, makakuha na natin ng horsepower per inch of width itong problem. 
And pagkagamit na uh, pag nakuha natin yung value ng h prepare inch of width halimbawa so mag uh, nakitang sagot is 6. So that was 12 over 6 yun yun yung magiging uh, chain width. So the chain width of course is b is equal to design horse power divided by hp per chain of width. So meaning we need to get this HP per chain of width value, divide mo sa design HP, makakuha mo na yung lapad ng kadena. And in this problem, the design HP given is, of course, ang sabi, 12. So meron na tayong 12. Kung hinahanap na lang natin is itong HP per chain of width, which has this formula. So isa-isa natin. So sa pitch muna tayo. Pitch. Ano ba muna ba? Iba yung given? Uh, pitch, pitch. So, ang sabi SC4. So, meaning, pitch is 4 multiplied by 1 over 8. So, that is 1 half inch or 0.5 inch. At si VM naman is in feet per minute. BM is the product of pitch, the number of teeth, the RPM all over 12. So that was 0.5 multiplied by the number of teeth. Ang sabi, that is the 21 tooth. 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 20 is 21. Sorry guys, kung medyo pangit sulat ko. So, driving sprocket runs at 1,200 RPM. So, meron tayong number of teeth and RPM here. And meron na tayong pitch. So, this will be a direct substitution chain speed. So, this is 0.5. The number of teeth is 21. And the RPM is 1,200 divided by 12. That is equal to 0.5 times 21 times 1,200. Divide 12, so that was 1,050 feet per minute. So perfect, guys, kasi may feet per minute na tayo, which is 1,050. And inches ng pitch, which is 0.5. So pwede natin i-direct sub to. So HP per inch of width. is equal to pitch. What's our pitch? So that was 0.5 inches multiplied by 1,200 all over 53. So this is an empirical formula, no? Meaning, di natin alam saan din arrive. But this is uh, talagang accurate. So ang BM natin is 1,050. So this is 1,050 guys, sorry. Multiply by 425 times number of teeth is 21 minus 8. So that was 13. So meron na tayong HP per inches na unit. So that was 0.5 times 1,050 divided by 53. Multiplied by 1 minus 1050 over 425 times 13. That was 8.02. 8.02 HP per inch. And of course, we're looking for the width itself or width. So that was B is equal to design HP of 12 all over 8.02. So meaning 12 divided our answer late uh, earlier. So that was 1.49. 5.67 in sa akin. So, ibig sabihin, this is closely to 1.5 inches or 3 halves. So, the answer obviously is, of course, that was letter B. So, madali lang naman pag silent chain. Mas na mahalaga, alam mo yung mga units and syempre yung formula. So, ulit-ulitin mo lang sulatin yan. Makakabisa mo rin yan. So, tapos na tayo sa 5. Tingnan natin yung 6. So, ayun. Terminologies na lang ito. So sabi, considered as the maximum safe center distance between sprocket is blank. P 
speeches, very long center distances cause catenary tensions in the chain or yung laulaw, yung lubog, sag. That was the catenary tension. So that was way back of your engineer, uh, engineering mechanics. So ano bang sagot dito? So kanina, uh, pang ilang slide ba yun? So na, kung naaalala natin, ang sabi, the maximum approved center distance is, six, is C is equal to 80 pitches. So meaning the answer is 80. So ang sabi naman sa 7, the recommended center distance of sprocket shouldn't be less than blank times the diameter of the bigger sprocket. So we have this formula earlier that D2 or the preferred center distance pala. Ang sabi ay, di ba ano yun, uh, 1.5 D2, tama ba? So that was C is greater than or equal to 1.5 D2. So the answer is letter C. So tingnan natin nga kung tama yung pinaglalagay natin. And guys, and yung number 6, sabi what is the maximum center distance in pitches? So that was 80 pitches. And the minimum center distance daw is should not be blank times the large or the second sprocket diameter. So that was C is greater than or equal to 1.5 dito. Meaning hindi dapat siya bababa sa 1.5 times dito. So the answer is 1.5. So balik tayo sa last slide. So yeah. The answer is 80 here and 1.5 here. Ayun guys, salamat sa pakinig. So nakatapos tayo ng chains. So ang sunod naman natin is wire ropes, gears, uh, rebets, and uh, welds. Tapos bearing or mauna tayong bearing tsaka pa lang yung rebets or welds. Again, thank you guys for listening please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this and please visit also our facebook page na nasa link or nasa description nung ating videos again guys see you on the next video god bless and bye bye